Hey guys, Dave here. We're going to take a look at installing the new Viper One ROM onto the HTC One. Uh, just a how to do it video. Uh, hopefully, it might help some people out. Let's get to it. All right, so we're going to turn on our phone here. Now, with installing this uh, ROM or any ROM, uh, I'm going to turn my brightness down here a little bit. To install any of these ROMs, the first thing you're normally going to do is just hold down the power button. And you'll have a restart, and you'll have the options to go into recovery, um, or bootloader, or whatever. However, we're going to treat this as if somebody has a rooted phone, but the not have the ability to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and reboot the phone. When we do this, we're going to want to make sure we look at the uh, captive buttons down here for when they do go out, or if we're not too sure, start holding that volume down button now. And what's going to happen as soon as the phone does power all the way down, when it goes power back up, we're in recovery mode. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is go down to recovery with the volume down and select it with the power button. It's going to now boot in recovery. As you can see, I have a Team Win installer. Uh, there's other installers, but that's what I get to Team Win recovery. Um, at this point, if you have a ROM you need backed up, select backup and just slide across. You're going to start the backup. However, I've done that myself before I did this video. So the first thing you want to do if you already have a backup or don't care about the backup is go to wipe. You're going to want to make sure, and we just came from a system, so we definitely want to wipe before we do this. Factory reset. That is not going to wipe your photos or if you back things up to your Google account. So that's just the operating system that we just uh, had on there. If we had issues here, we were either going to, uh, if with the install, go back to our, our restore and restore the last one we just backed up. But we're going to go to install. And then we're going to go find our download and the Viper 1. This is 3.1 RC2. Slide to confirm. You can actually add more zips at this time. Like uh, more zips might require uh, uh, different flash for kernels uh, for different speeds and so forth. So after it gets started here, it tells us it's starting the aroma. All right. So uh, you do the agreement. Hit next. Oops, I'm sorry. Need to check. It's hard to see. There's a checkbox down here. Agree. Hit next. It tells you about uh, the change log. Quite a bit of information there. If you really want to read it, go for it. Hit next. Uh, make sure that you do a backup, which is what I explained earlier. Hit next. All right. Now, the menu below gives us a couple options as far as installing Viper 1. Uh, they have flashing extras, uh, that's the uh, TWRP recovery, the stock kernel, uh, it's got so system information and a file manager. We're going to go ahead and install Viper 1. Okay, we've already wiped, so we don't actually need to wipe again. doesn't matter, you can wipe it again, doesn't really matter. Just make sure you wipe before you install this ROM. Not wiping at all will cause issues. Let's see here, we got um, additions, exchange mail mod, disables the admin rights. Uh, we're going to leave that off. Um, select this, the super SU, select this if you're S on and want to root access. I'm already S off, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, Viper boot, uh, just the animation, HTC sense. Uh, that's actually saying it's a complete removal of sense. I like sense, so I'm going to leave it. And app removal, uh, select for removing apps, opens a new customized window. So that's if we select that, it'll give us the option. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go with what we have. I have a Sprint phone, so I'm going to select that. It says all information has been collected for installation. Hit next. It's going to go and install all this stuff. Takes a little bit of time. I'll go ahead and fast forward. All right, 
So that took less than two minutes. Uh, it's installed everything. Hit next. And at this point, it's saying reboot your device now and hit finish. So now we're going to reboot our device. It actually took us back to Team Win where it finished the uh, installer or cleared it. And now we're going to boot into the new uh, Viper ROM. Uh, I'll let it go ahead and show the. Uh, if you have issues uh, with some of these, some of these 4.4 ROMs, I'm sorry, 4.3. Uh, get stuck in bootloader. Sometimes they just take a long period of time. Could be 10 minutes, could be less. Uh, however, if you have the issue, I suggest that you, after five or so minutes of at least waiting, long, uh, long press the power button and uh, let it go ahead and reboot from there. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please give that thumbs up if this helped you out in any way. Um, appreciate the views. Don't forget to share, uh, subscribe, and like. Thanks, guys.